first destination of the 16 day journey was the Sensoji Temple, in the center of the city. Really calm, beautiful, and people are praying. What's special about Tokyo is that there's a sense of harmony, quietness, a gentleness that's hard to describe unless you're there. Meet Quill from Philadelphia. We met at the temple and decided to kick it. Best food you ever had. This is the infamous Shibuya crossing. Morning from Tokyo, I decided to head west and I'm gonna go to Fuji Mountain. It only took me one and a half hour bus ride from Tokyo to reach Fuji Yoshida. My mission was to visit the Arakura Shrine to see the infamous view of the Fuji Mountain. My name is Watanabe Ryo. え、私は今日本の町で生まれて、え、今38歳です。え、私の町の一番好きなところは何と言っても富士山です。ぜひこの富士山の美しい町に来て富士山を見て、え、心癒されて美味しい食べ物を食べて、え、ぜひ楽し
食と文化がとても素晴らしい町です。The question is when a guy punches you, you need to punch him back. You need to stand your ground. But do we need to punch his wife, his kids, and his mother?、And、I think the better answer is there should be no punching whatsoever. And it's been 80 years, quarter million innocent people died. But without that bomb, though, I'll be speaking Japanese to you. My grandma spoke Japanese because Japan colonized Korea for 37 years. The bomb freed my people. So it's a really complex situation. This was the last statement at the memorial. Please pause the video to read the full paragraphs. I met a friend in Fuji Yoshida from Spain, and we kept in touch, and we happened to be in Hiroshima at the same time. Hola, me llamo Lucrecio, y lo conocí aquí en Japón. Lucrecio, ¿cómo estás? Salud. If you're visiting from the Western culture, you'll see that the nightlife and the bar culture are a little different in Japan. Often, you'll see signs that says members only. That pretty much means Japanese people only. But there's always an international bar and karaoke is everywhere. I decided to keep heading south and arrived in Beppu, a mysterious city full of onsens. And I have to tell you, this was one of the most beautiful Airbnb I've ever stayed in. うちは今年でラーメン屋さんは72年目になりますおじお年なんかのお父さん義理のお父さんが20年ほどして私なんかは50年それとまあ別府は温泉町ですから温泉がいっぱいあって分け合いもうみんな親切で優しいですよ。Finally, I arrived in the furthest destination away from Tokyo called Takachiu, a beautiful mountain town. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I planned one day at a time, avoiding the rain and looking for beautiful places. The natural beauty of Takachiu was incredible. It took all day to arrive in Osaka, and after taking a nap, it was raining, and it was really cool to get some glowy nighttime mystical shots that I've always dreamed of. Next day, I arrived in Iga, and I started my day at the Ninja Museum where you can see the history of ninja and everything else they did and wear and do. In the evening, I was picked up by my Airbnb host, and she was so kind. I took some really nice photos for her Airbnb. It takes a little bit of luck to attend the sumo wrestling. First of all, it was in the right season, and also I got one of the last tickets. This is Denny, my friend Zizi's brother. We've never met before, but Zizi saw similar photos we took, and we happened to be in Japan at the same time, so why not kick it? I don't know what combination of flavors that was, but. I came back to Tokyo on a beautiful sunny day because I want to see more of it before I go. Uh, 
I need to see the nature one more time. There is still snow on the mountains of Niko, a little mountain town north of Tokyo about two hours away. The waterfall was so refreshing, simple, and elegant. Nearby was this beautiful epic shrine. This was my first time using the capsule hotel. There's a public bath and resting area and it was really comfortable. So I wanted to finish my trip in Japan with a very special visit. Something that's a little weird. It's the Poop Museum of Tokyo. Quirky, magical, creative, all at the same time. Japan will surprise you in every corner.